episode 192. Don't wait for an opportunity. Create it. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilson. And there we are with a totally new, totally awesome Tuesday in a totally new week, uh, in a totally new month. No, no. <laughs> I was kind of getting ahead of myself there. Uh, but uh, in any case, welcome to the very best podcast in the world. Your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Now, uh, today's episode is about opportunities and, um, how they come and go in life and uh, how you should grab them once they come. And if you can't grab them because you're missing whatever, uh, still grab them. (laughs) But uh, there are also ways to create opportunities. And that's what we are going to be talking about now, right after our uh, home keeping, housekeeping, homekeeping, housekeeping, housekeeping, thingamajigger, uh, views my own, blah, uh, <laughs> you know, the drill, uh, and, um, sharing is caring in that, you know, if this or any other past or future episode, uh, you know, are good for you, uh, they might be good for someone else in your sphere of influence as well. So you might as well, uh, share this episode with your with that person or pet <laughs> in your sphere of influence and uh let them have uh you know part let them take part in changing their lives as well so uh in that sense i'm gonna make that brief and cut it out right here because uh i hope that it's getting on your nerves to a degree where you're actually you know sharing even more than you already are um but yeah there we go so um, how did I come up with the idea for a title like this? Well, I was, you know, I did the regular thing. I've talked about it before, uh, you know, did my, uh, vocational training, which should be, if I understood it correctly, the equivalent of a college degree, only that you've actually done something, you know, you've worked <laughs> and, um, I was in the financial sector and I was working my ass off, busting my balls, um, you know, trying to make ends meet, uh, and, um, got killed right in the track all, well, not all the time. I don't want to say that, but you know, most of my ambitious projects were killed by corporate politics. And I was so, I got so pissed off that actually things happened, uh, which I'm not necessarily, uh, no, which I'm not necessarily going into too much detail about. Um, and, uh, on the side, I started working, um, you know, following my actual passion, which has always been, uh, the internet since its advent and, um, went ahead, you know, worked my ass off there, uh, and created an opportunity. That wasn't something that wasn't there. I didn't have a degree in that, you know, I didn't, hadn't worked in it, you know, and, uh, everything that I knew about it, I taught myself, uh, out of necessity, uh, you know, more or less (laughs) these, these fuckers, uh, in the, uh, insurance company that I was working for, uh, they actually limited internet access to my, um, you know, email account or email account provider, email provider, whatever. And, uh, so I had to figure out a workaround because I wanted to check my private email. So, you know, I got, a server at my home, uh, and downloaded all my email there, uh, connected directly there. And then I could read my email and all that, that was, you know, parse pro toto for all the shit that I learned, you know, it was like hours and hours and weeks and months and probably years, uh, you know, went into a lot of the stuff that I know. And, uh, that was actually my most successful teacher was myself, you know, and le- teaching myself how shit works. Uh, and, um, So this opportunity I, uh, created and, um, pretty much ever since 
every other opportunity that I grasped, you know, looking back at it, uh, I created myself as well. You know, it was like this process. And, you know, yesterday I mentioned episode 40, the financial freedom exercise, and that's what it's all fucking about. You know, yeah, you need, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail. Listen to episode 40, suck it in and live by it. Boom. There you go. That's how you create opportunities. That's how you manage your time. And that's how you're going to have more time to kick back and, you know, be in a financially very comfortable position very early in life, which a lot of the people that you're hanging out with uh, and partying are not going to be able to participate in because they continue to, you know, watch Netflix and do all that other crazy shit people do. Now, um, how do you create opportunities? Um, and that's a very, uh, very interesting question um, that I had to ask myself. And, you know, <laughs> and uh, I, I got uh, contradicting feedback. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Now, uh, we can go back over and over and over again to the topic of passion, uh, which we have discussed in detail in two previous episodes. I don't remember the number, just search for passion uh, in your favorite podcast app and you'll find them, where I outlined examples of finding your passion, uh, you know, and it may be hidden in plain sight, uh, you know, and it's that simple. And following that passion uh, to a degree where you can, you know, figure out how to make money off of it, uh, you know, how you can get to the position where you are financially free, where you don't have to worry about money. And no, and I'm not talking about the Lambo in the garage of your uh, $40 million mansion. I'm talking about, you know, having a roof over your head, having food, uh, you know, being able to afford a car, uh, you know, and affording the necessities. And once you're in that position, you're fucking liberated. That's, that's it. You know, you're done. You're made. Because here's the catch. That's what's really, that, that, that's what really a lot of people are now debating uh, in, the, uh, in the Rona times uh, about this universal basic income, right? And it's being discussed up and down that it demotivates people, you know, not to work anymore, not to take part in society because they're getting their money anyhow, whether they're working or not. All of these discussions are pretty much bullshit. Because what's keeping you back from achieving your goals is actually that you have to spin the fucking hamster wheel eight hours a day and not follow your passion, right? And spinning the hamster wheel eight hours a day can, for a lot of people, be fucking exhausting to a degree where they do not have the, the push or the pull or the whatever to, you know, get their ass up again, work another four hours on their side hustle and, you know, move their life into a direction of financial freedom, period. End of discussion. I don't want to hear any BS, right? Because imagine yourself, right? You don't have to do your nine to five. What are you going to do all day? Watch Netflix? Yeah, it's going to take you two years of binging and then you're done. <laughs> There's not a lot of shit to come around, you know? Uh, but seriously though, uh, this whole debate about the universal basic income is, uh, I think, flawed. Yeah, you know, there will be those people who won't contribute, but they're not contributing now to society, right? They're doing their nine to five. Yeah, they're paying their taxes so that, you know, you can drive your Lambo on your road or whatever. But at the end of the day, you're going to have those people, you, you know, universal basic income, yes or no. They're going to be there. What I think, though, is that a lot of people are stuck in shitty situations and they could seriously excel if that, you know, financial aspect breathing down their neck their entire life could be taken out of the equation right we would have a lot of people that would start businesses you know not necessarily once but maybe over and over again lessons learned because nothing will fucking happen to you if you you know fall back to square one right right now it's like you're falling off the fucking abyss you know you can end up homeless uh, you know, which will then lead to a drug addiction or alcohol addiction or whatever, because you need to take the edge off and then shit starts to happen. If you fall back to square one, you know, even fucking monopoly has that, you know, every time you pass over go, <laughs> you, you get your, whatever it is, uh, money incentive to keep on going the next round, right? To equal 
the balance. Equal the balance? I think so. Whatever. You get the point. So uh, anyhow, long story short. Um, so that's how you really create opportunity. Uh, you know, we can be, we can ask philosophical questions about universal basic income. It's not there. Uh, you know, there's being, uh, there, there are tons of experiments being made all around the globe uh, right now to see whether it'll function. Um, let's see, you know, maybe I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll be proven wrong. No idea. Just gut feeling and tons of studies I've read on. <laughs> so, um, another thing, Rich, is insanely important for creating opportunities yourself uh, is that you listen to advice and no matter how fucking subtle it is, right? Um, one example is that, you know, when I started web design, I was, that, that was like the first business I kind of stomped out of the ground. Uh, and I gave a, I was invited to give a speech at, in the Netherlands, uh, at a conference. And, um, after my speech, this dude walks up to me, uh, I think he was from the Belgium police. And he said, you know, you're so fucking good at, at, at explaining shit. Uh, you know, why don't you become a consultant, right? you you obviously have a very broad, uh, skill set and uh, very broad knowledge on this topic, uh, you know, become a consultant on how people can become more successful uh, with their e-commerce and so on and so forth. And I said, I'll think about it. And I did, you know, and the advice was so valuable uh, that I, you know, that that really excelled my career to a degree where, you know, I'm invited to, you know, uh, to large corporations to work with them. Uh, I've made, uh, you know, very, very, very decent amount of money. Um, you know, I now in, in other terms, advise governments and, you know, intelligence agencies and police forces and whatever, uh, on the, uh, on, on cyber security risks and well, yeah, not really active anymore, but you know, if somebody really has an interesting project, I'll, I'll jump on it. Um, that goes to say that, uh, Listening to advice, I think, is insanely important. And we covered that uh, not too long ago. And uh, I think that's something where kind of like the pieces of the puzzle fall together. Now, we're almost jumping the 15 minutes again. So in that sense, uh, we're going to wrap this up for today. Uh, opp creating opportunities yourself is really the easiest thing of grasping them because the cards that are dealt to you are in your favor. And there's no buyout or sellout that you have to uh, bend over for. It's going to be yours. It's your idea, right? It's your opportunity and you grasp it. So in that sense, uh, I'm out for today. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Take care. Bye folks.